Thank you. Yeah, we have the one claim task here on the park. We have a lot of animals here, a lot of animals. The animals were not in the cage, because here we don't cage animals here, except the zebra and the male ostrich. The zebra we brought them from South Africa, and then we were not to meet them. That's why they are in the cage. After some time, we allowed them to enter the park. So when you get inside to the park, you see animals like antelopes. You have different types of antelopes. Mm. And then here is a historical area. In the olden days, the Shah people were living here with the animals. Oh, okay. Yeah. They are the Jodua, Gomeda, Pram Pram, Doyun. Mm. Yeah, they are those people. Oh, okay. yeah. So they have their caves that they stay inside. Mm. You have Manya, Heweyo, Sayo, and then the Mogo here. They are all caves. When you get there, the tour guide will narrate the story to you. Each cave has its own story. Mm. Yeah. They will do rock climbing, basket running, mm. bed watching, a lot of things here. We visit here, we take to the to the Mogo. That's the place where the shy people, when their children become adolescents, they hide them there for three months mm. and did the puberty right for them mm. before they can marry. I don't know how to come out. So when you get it, you get it, it is. And that's where they do the, um, what is the? Depo. Depo, yeah. 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 So yeah. because of that, every September, we allow them to come and perform their festival. Oh, they still do it? Yeah. These days, they don't keep their children there for the three months. They keep them in their house. And then they, they bring them yeah, for the ceremony. For the ceremony. Mm. And we are currently waiting because their yeah, reception is very poor, a bit disorganized. We don't know who is supposed to take us there, and everything is just a mess. So, it's not, I wouldn't even say make sure you call them because we did call them to let them know we're coming at X time. And right now, we are just sitting here waiting, but hopefully, um, they'll come soon. According to them, we're supposed to wait for a certain woman to come. And I don't know if she's come to approve our booking or like honestly it doesn't make sense but I guess we have to wait. So if you come here with a waiting taxi, I'm very sorry for you but your bill will go higher because these people their reception is just totally bad. Like I don't even want to say it's because it's government but low key low key it's just because it's government because there's no private place that you go that you are willing to spend your own I've booked ahead of time that you have to come and sit here and be waiting. Like, I do not understand. It's all good. I think this is the woman we have been waiting for. Anywho, this is our luggage. This is my brother, my personal handbag. It's me. Okay, guys, so let's just do a little um, background information about this place. So, as you saw, we've left the gate at this point, and then our guide was directing us up the hill. Apparently, the place is actually on the hill, it's on one of the smaller hills up there. It took about 25 minutes, it's a 25 minute drive from the entrance to the actual tent, um, luxury tent hill. So, um, that's just something to note. Also, the road is very, very bad. This road looks very smooth, but when we turn, you know, into the actual place, it's it's really, really bumpy. Um, if you don't come with a car or your own car that you're willing to drive up the hill, they have arranged taxis that go for 70 Ghana cities. 
um, if you want to use their taxi service of be anywhere between 50 and 70 CDs. And then if you are driving your own car, make sure that you have a high rise car and not a low line car. Otherwise, you really end up damaging your car. Okay, so another thing to note is that when you book the accommodation, it comes with a two hour tour the next day. Unfortunately, Wendy and I weren't able to do this tour because of time. Um, so yeah, you can absolutely do that. I'm sure we'll do it another day. Also, the best network, um, the network there is not very good. So the best network to you to use is Airtel Tigo. Vodafone is not good there at all. I was using Vodafone. It was crappy. MTN is quite manageable. At certain points, you can get good service. But Airtel Tigo is the best network to use at the Shires Reserve. Thank you. Also, just try to bring your own car, honestly, or get somebody to drive you. Bringing a rented car on an Uber here is quite expensive because of the road. They end up charging you so much. But yeah, we are finally here and let's enjoy the trip together. In advance. Wendy, you are tired? Hi. Man says people. Man says, how do you call your people? Uh, please, we don't have any gang name. Please, look for a gang name for Man says, guys, the breath. Hey. The view here. It's breathtaking. The, the breath view is here. view taking. It's breathtaking. It's worth it because I just climbed and it wasn't easy. But after seeing this view, you are okay. satisfied, huh? My soul is okay. Guys, it's worth it. <sighs> Hi, guys. This is the original travel buddy. If you see somebody here, you know that it's about to be late. We are here at the Shy Hills Natural Resort Reserve inside Shy or Kobo or something. Shy Hills, yeah. But we are here. I'm here with the only gang member, Wen Gang. Mm. <laughs> she said we should gang, look for gang, a tribe gang, name. Gang. Yes, look for a tribe name. So we have to find a tribe name. So comment down below any nice tribe name that you want us to call our family here. Hello. Yeah, so that we we'll, we'll dedicate it to Wendy because. She's advocating for this name, but we are here. The journey wasn't easy. As it wasn't I said. easy, oh, guys. Like, I mean, it's not as easy as you see on I Instagram you. and YouTube. It's not rosy like that, too. Exactly. So that's you, the come, way. you have to brace yourself. Don't wear high heels like I did. Because you have to wear sneakers. Be like me. Yes, yeah, so be like Wendy. <laughs> and wear joggers. I promise. <laughs> It's don't try to be easy. cute and come here <laughs> this is place is not for the faint heart it's not for the cute no but we are happy to be here yeah mm. but the view is worth it it's not yes, easy it's very very nice yeah the road is very, very nice. bad bad oh bad it's not motorable i'm just praying that that's don't bring your tomorrow. bands here otherwise you can't go you can't come like, don't, don't even try and bring uber here because the way they will they charge, will charge you. you one boom they will charge you so please if you have someone that has a pickup or jeep or yeah, a yeah, high rise yeah. car please use yeah. that one why not this uber it's not the line actually those picanto ones <laughs> oh. do, do, do you will destroy the his car we beg you <laughs> that's our tent they call it the luxury tent here Let me show you guys around. Yes. I promise. We're trying to be cute. She's not ready for the hiking life. At all. Miss <laughs> Quake. This a high heel. Madam High Heel. Oh my god. What? Like you say what? Like what? Oh my god. What? Like what? So pretty. Oh my god. So freaking pretty. The view. The view 
is amazing amazing the view is stunning 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 this didn't happen by accident too stunning view Shy Hills Natural Resource Reserve. Huh. It has been such a great experience. I had a good night's sleep and we are out this morning because we have a lot of things to do. Um, breakfast will come in soon as well. But we have a few things we want to do, you know, take advantage of the space, create some content, do some stuff before we have to leave in the afternoon. We also want to do the safari tour. I'm not too sure if we'll do it or not at this point but well yeah so i just want to do a quick room tour as well showing you guys how beautiful this place is and um just to mention a few things i've observed so far as we've been here um the facility itself like this place i'm sitting right now is amazing like you can see that so much work and detail went into this place Almost everything here works. The room has an air conditioning um, unit. It has a microwave. It has um, a fridge. It also has, you know, a dining area where you have glasses, champagne glasses, mugs, everything like at your disposal. Also, when you visit the washroom, you have like washing baskets. You have a whole laundry area, a washroom. A mirror you know the facility is well equipped honestly I'm really impressed with this particular space and um, from some of the videos I watched I didn't think it was this equipped but looking at it like since I've been here it's been amazing at least they provided every basic necessity they think you may need so it has really really been great so far the experience has been really really nice and uh, the only downside I would say is like the road commuting to to this point that was my only challenge and then yeah the security here is amazing we had a good night's sleep no intruders no bugs nothing of that sort the place is really maintained well when we came into the place was neat they had cleaned up everything was clean clean sheets clean bed i've cleaned it actually this morning but we slept on it <laughs> yeah so so far so good I'm impressed with everything here um, so you should definitely definitely check out this place if you went somewhere quiet somewhere to just meditate somewhere to reflect um, on your life you know just somewhere to hang out with a loved one or just somewhere to you know chill out on your own I would not really recommend it for like solo travel because it's quite boring here there are not a lot of activities for you to like participate in so if you don't come with somebody you just here all alone by yourself which is quite boring so i'll just suggest that you can come with somebody and also the room is for two people like ideally for two people but if you have an extra person you can always come along with somebody so you can be three i think four but you just need to speak to the people and let them know that you are extra but only that the breakfast will cover for two people but you can buy additional food for the other people but it's been great because I came with my brother as well but we didn't have to pay any like extra cost so yeah 
so far so good the experience has been nice let me gladly be your tour guide let me show you around <laughs> Breakfast is here. Morning. Thank you. Breakfast is here. About 8 a.m. right now. So, it came right on time. It's Okay guys, so something for you to just note, breakfast comes very simple as you guys saw but Wendy and I just wanted to be extra and a little bit more bougie so we took our props, you know, we really meant this trip um, for relaxation and also for like content so we decided to go with our own props so you can totally do that, our own bed sheets, our own stuff to create like this nice um, outdoor breakfast setting so you can absolutely do that when you visit um, just that don't expect breakfast to be this bougie because that's not how it comes thank you trip it's been so so exciting coming out here and seeing this beautiful place i don't regret doing it at all as i said before but yeah everything good must definitely come to an end so we are finally come to the end of this trip i hope you enjoyed this vlog i tried to share as much as i could and yeah if you definitely want to visit this place it's totally and absolutely available you just have to book ahead of time to secure a slot because there are only three tents here so the facility can't you know contain a lot of people at the same time but you just need to book ahead of time and this tent we stayed in cost 700 cities every other tent here also cost 700 cities um the food the breakfast over here comes with the room the breakfast comes with the room so um yeah and then you can always bring food along or you can always order food from the kitchen when you arrive here um yeah i think i've touched on everything so far i had an amazing experience here there are certainly things they could improve on absolutely like um transportation to this place because the roads are really bad but aside that i feel like the facility um, itself has been totally like worth it highly highly recommend it this is a lovely place as you can see behind me the views are out of this place 
so you can absolutely absolutely do this um i'll leave all the details to the booking and then how you can get in touch with the um, facility managers in the description below if you haven't subscribed to my channel at this very point please do subscribe if you also watch this vlog to this very point comment safari down below so that, so that i know you watch the video to the very end until my next video on wednesday i will catch you same time on wednesday i always upload on a wednesday and a sunday so make sure to check me out i love you all may darcy be brave bye from safari and me and shy hills Mwah!